I'm Joanna Hallisey. I'm a senior application engineer here at Timken. The tool that I will be demonstrating is the bearing search tool, and basically that will help customers to identify different bearings based off of bearing type or their size, so bore, width, OD, or also the rating. The bearing search tool can be used by customers to better identify different types of bearings based off of the size or rating, and they can be used to compare bearings as well. So if a customer is between two different types, they can have a good comparison. And there's a couple different ways we can figure out what type of bearing we might need unless we already know the part number. So if you need help choosing the right bearing type, you can click that highlighted area. This brings up help me choose a bearing type. Gives us different characteristics and different bearing types themselves. So taper roller bearing, cylindrical roller bearing, spherical roller bearing, radial ball bearing, and angular contact ball bearing. Here you can review what type of bearing you might be looking for based off of different characteristic types. For the demonstration, let's just pick taper roller bearing. Let's say that that looks good for our application type. It will then populate here in this down arrow of bearing type. You can see they also list them here in this list. We have different bearing types of ball bearing, cylindrical roller bearing, spherical roller bearing, taper roller bearing. So we know that we want a taper roller bearing. We're not sure yet what kind we might want. So we've got the taper single, tapered single flange, taper double inner, taper double outer as well. So we're going to apply that. Let's say we want to taper. We're not sure what kind, but we do know that we have different advanced filters here. We can plug in the bore, outside diameter, bearing width, different types of load ratings if that's known, or K factors. If you're not sure maybe what those might be referring to, you can hover your mouse over this little indicator and it'll give you a small kind of explanation there. Let's say I do know that I want a tapered bearing with the parameters as follows. So I would type my known bearing parameters in for bore, outer diameter, and bearing width as well. Let's say that's all I know. I don't really have an idea maybe of what dynamic load rating I'm looking for. I can search, and then it's going to give me a couple options down here. And then I could use the view details on this first one, see if that's the bearing that I'm looking for. As you can see, it has the bore outer diameter width of that bearing, as well as cone cup part number. It also can include the CAD drawing, so we can click that. Gives us a pop-up of a schematic with some more bearing details on it, as well as the bearing data. So it'll give us the key dimensions, cone part number, cup part number. It can include other dimensions too, so weight, as well as the ratings and the different factors. Let's try another one. Let's say we do know our bearing part number, but we only know part of our bearing part number. So let's say we do know that the cone part number is LM11949, but we're not sure what kind of cut part number or outer ring part number we need. So I have a couple here. Looks like, yep, these two both have the right cone. These part numbers differ though. I want to compare those to see which outer ring 
is the right outer ring for my application. So you can come to this page of the Bearing Compare. You can also click the View Details, and that'll take us to a page similar to the one just shown. Look, I have my same cone part number. Here's my variance of cup part number. So the bores will be the same because of the cone part numbers. However, I'm noticing that the OD and the bearing width are different. I know that my OD cannot be this large. Same with my width. So I know that the part number I'm looking for is this part number. It will also have other comparisons too. Let's say if you have a bearing with the same bearing envelope of bore, outer diameter, and width, you can review other characteristics here with the bearing compare tool. There are other ways to search too. Let's say I don't know what type of bearing I'm looking for, but I know I want to look for ball bearings for Timken. I'm going to apply that. And then I'm going to search. And then it's going to populate a lot of different results. It'll give me the bearing type, the part number, and some of the other information here in this general overview. And then I can use these arrows to scroll through pages. If I find myself unsure of what my next step is or how to use the engineering tools here at Timken, I can also click this guided help button. So let's say I have a bearing part number, I need more information. I don't have a bearing part number, help me search for one. I need help designing bearings into my application. I need information on Timken products other than bearings. Let's say I don't have a part number, help me search for one. That'll take me back to that bearing search tool that we just went through. Hope this demonstration helped. For using the bearing search tool or any other Timken engineering tools, go to engineering.timken.com.